Hey CY, welcome back to Friday night. We're so stoked that we're in level two and can hang out in connect groups. Oh, what a journey it has been the last couple of weeks, right? There's been a lot of discomfort um, and, a, and a lot of unknown, really. And um, But even then, in that, I just pray that you guys are still being able to find the goodness and the beauty that our amazing creator has provided for us. Hey, I've just got one notice regarding CY, um, and that is CY Camp. Who's excited? I am. But if you haven't already seen, um, we have had a change of dates. The new dates for CY Camp is the 29th to the 31st of October. So if you haven't already signed up, go to our website at crossroads.co.nz or our Facebook page. If money is going to be an issue, please, please get in contact with us because we don't want you to miss out. We have so so much cool things planned. We have an amazing guest speaker coming in. And yeah, it's just going to be such a cool time of connections. Hey, I hope you guys have an awesome night with your connect groups. And yeah, we're just going to hand it over to Maddie B, who is going to run a game. Oh, Jesus. Kia ora, CY. Uh, as you know, we've just got into level two. So I figured to, tonight's game would actually run off of that idea. So if you've ever seen a show like um, Shark Tank or Dragon's Den, it's where people have to come up with an invention to solve a problem and try and advertise it. If you had to do a little twist on that, though, instead, I want you guys to come up with an advert or a health and safety video, kind of like the ones that you see on, like, Air New Zealand. Um, so within your groups, I want you to film an advert advertising health and safety around level two restrictions so we can get back to our normal daily lives, you know. I want this to be a way of showing CY how we're going to run for the future. So be creative because there will be a prize for the best advert and we will be airing them at some point too. So yeah, give it your best. Use TikTok if you want to, you know, edit it, make it look real good and submit it to either me or Hannah or you can put it into the um, CY Facebook page, just private message it. And yeah, enjoy. Hey CY, we can't wait to see the adverts that you guys have created and it is just so awesome that we can be uh, back together, not like usual, um, but in our small groups connecting with one another. Um, I want to share just a, a thought with you guys tonight, um, a little devotion style type thing um, that you guys can have some discussions in and then spend the rest of the time just hanging out and reconnecting with one another. So going into lockdown was a real bummer. Maybe when they made the announcement, you felt a bit of dread or you may have felt a bit anxious or stressed ever since. And that's totally understandable. Going in and out of levels can be unsettling with the constant change of routine and the possibility of COVID looming can make us all feel pretty uneasy. Maybe lockdown was especially challenging for you. Or maybe you felt alone and isolated or maybe you just found it really hard to reach out to people when you were finding things pretty tough. I want to give you just a few minutes now to go around your group, uh, share how uh, you found lockdown, and I mean how you really found it. Um, name some of those emotions or uh, specific, uh, specific moments that you had, whether they are good or whether they were not so good. Uh, you can pause the video here um, and take a few minutes to do that. So I want to share um, a thought with you this evening around contentment um, and what it looks like to be content in whatever situation we find ourselves in, including lockdown. Philippians 4 uh, verse 11 and 12 says this, <clears throat> I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learnt to be content in whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Here, this passage, uh, Paul is pretty much telling us that contentment doesn't come from our circumstances, but through an understanding of life rooted in Christ. Not only does the Bible tell us where true contentment lies, it also tells us that such contentment is possible for each one of us. <clears throat> 
how difficult do you find it to be content? Would you characterise yourself as a content person? Or do you think that you could be content if some things in your life may be changed? <clears throat> how many of us are convinced that we can be content if only we, if only we had more or less of something? <clears throat> if we didn't have lockdown, or maybe if we didn't have so much schoolwork, or maybe a little less stress, then that's when we'd find contentment. In reading uh, the whole of Philippians 4, uh, you'll notice that Paul was in prison when he wrote this letter, and in such a circumstance, he required the, phys he required, sorry, the physical care of others. And the Philippians responded by sending gifts to Paul uh, through Epaphroditus. This leads Paul to speak to them more directly in chapter 4, verses 11 to 12, about what he had learned in general about circumstances and contentment. He tells them that they should not be misled into thinking that he rejoiced simply because he now had what he needed. Rather, his joy and contentment were based on something else, something that always transcends whatever the circumstances of life might be. Paul writes, basing contentment on circumstances is always deceptive. And this is precisely the point of verses 11 and 12. Paul emphasizes to his readers that he had known plenty of good and bad throughout his life, and contentment wasn't found in either of them. Reading through Paul's life, we could probably justify that many situations that he faced, he could have every right to be discontent. But the end of verse 11 is clear, and he says, I have learnt in whatever state I am in to be content. We are taught to be content in the range of possibilities of our circumstances, but not because of them. The Bible teaches that position, power, wealth or success as sources of contentment are fruitless and mean nothing. Many people believe that if only we had a little more, they'll be happy. So a big screen TV turns into a new car, turns into a new boat or a new house. And none of these things are, in are inherently wrong, but they become wrong when we think that we'll get contentment because of them. The Bible tells us very clearly that contentment comes from one place only, through our relationship with our all-knowing God. We can't let external things become our source of joy and contentment. The secret Paul learned in verse 12 of Philippians 4 requires a shift in focus. We turn from looking at those parts of our lives that we wish to change, and we focus on our loving Heavenly Father who provides our every need for our good. Through Christ, we are now His children. Oh, sorry, through Christ, we are now children of this Father, and so through the same Saviour, it is possible to be content. So are you content? The question is not whether there are circumstances about your life that you would like to change. There probably are some. But the question is whether or not in those circumstances that we can still be content. And God says it's possible. Contentment is possible because of Jesus Christ. So I would love for you guys to have a cordial now about contentment, about where you sit in the space of being content in every circumstance. Looking back on lockdown, you may want to reflect about how you were feeling. Did you find yourself complaining a lot about the situation or did you find yourself pressing into God and trusting him through it all? It's a great chance to evaluate your own life. Find those spaces that maybe you are a little bit uh, discontent, the things that you really are striving for in life um, or the things that you would really want and uh, that you want to change in your life. Um, and yeah, reflect on them. Uh, we encourage you to pray about it talk about it now in your group or talk to your leader about it and we would love to pray for you guys. So that's all from me for tonight. Uh, make sure you keep an eye out on our social medias this week um, and we will let you know uh, the plan for next Friday um, after the announcement on Monday. Um, but yeah, apart from that, uh, we will catch you later. I hope you have a really good time connecting in your groups tonight um, and yeah, hopefully we can be all together soon. See you later.